Hello YouTube, this is me Indra and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to connect the login form with database that is MySQL server. In the previous tutorial I have shown how to create login form and in the next I have shown how to validate it. So let us begin our code how do we can connect it to the database server. So first of all right click on web pages then go to new and click on JSP then write the name of our JSP page and click on finish so let me erase all this code so to connect it to the database we have to import the sql at first so page import java dot sql dot asterisk So this will import the SQL and we have to write all the code inside this one. So let me define a string variable at first with the name action. We have we will get this data from the our from our form this we will get from the button name equals to action so based upon the action we have to perform our tax if the action is sign in then we have to do the sign in work and if the button is if the sign up button is pressed then we have to perform the sign up work so we have to use the if condition if action action dot equals sign in then what we have to do is we have to perform the sign in operation so let me declare two variable string username request dot get parameter so we have add the name username so right over here also let me define another variable password equals to request password this we will get from the form test box so here we have two variable which stores username and password so we have to use try and catch to place the database code try and catch with <coughs> exception e. let me finish the code at first for exception So inside try try block we have to establish the database connection. So class dot com dot mysql dot that is jdbc connection dot driver. We have to establish the connection. Con equals to get connection, and we have to pass the URL, username, and password. So
our database server is localhost let's put it this 3306 and name of our database is jsp database i'll show you it later then after we have to provide the username root and the password is empty so to view the database name we have to start the jam server start the apache and mysql module and type in localhost then go to PSP my admin here you can see JSP database with the table record and we have several columns with a single data stored in it so let me minimize this so we have to create a statement t equals to create a statement then after result set r is equals to we have to execute the query so place we have to place the sql code over here we have to use the select query so select asterisk from name of our table is record where username equals to username that is that came from the text box and password equals to plus p w d so we have to use the if condition if there is data which user types in the text box then I restart next we have to if the provided data is valid then we have to redirect it to the next page where user can perform his operations and if the user provided data is invalid we have to show the alert message so let me redirect it to the success page that I haven't created the page I will create it later so success dot jsp I will create the file name success dot jsp later so if the user is not valid then we have to write the code for that also so I will be using javascript for this so out dot print ln we have to define the script type again we have to provide the alert message so this will be the alert message
and we have to redirect it to some pages so i will redirect it to the main page that is index.jsp location equals to index.jsp put it in inverted comma single inverted comma then after we have to close the script so the script is closed now so this is for when you press the sign in button so you have to write the code for sign up also here so for this else if action dot equals if it equals to sign up then we have to go to another page so response dot send redirect so let me create the jsp page with sign up dot jsp i i will create it later so when it when you just press sign up button then it will go to the sign up dot jsp page so let me create two page with the name success dot jsp and sign up dot jsp okay success dot jsp and then another is sign up dot jsp okay i have created the pages so we have to import a jar file now to establish the connection between netbeans and mysql so right click on the libraries folder and click on add jar slash folder then after you have to download the mysql connector i have already downloaded it i will provide the download link in the description box so click on the file and click on open so in the index.jsp file we have to write a small code in the action so we have while submitting the button we have to go to the check.jsp Page. so right here check dot jsp so this will go to the check dot jsp page so let me run this program once okay let me provide the valid username Okay, it takes me the it takes me to the success dot jsp page so our database code works so thanks for watching and in the next tutorial i'll show you how to use how to create the sign up page to insert the data in the database so thanks for watching